Good morning, guys. Happy Saturday, Sarah. It's gonna be a good day. Excellent day. It's gonna be a good day. So Sarah and I are going to share more of our life and we are going to vlog more and share it all with you. So thank you all for tuning in. We like to start more, most of our mornings off at the gym, get our workout in. Today is deadlift day. So I got my deadlift braids on, plus I got some extra special socks on. Look who's on these socks, who's on these socks? It is Queen Marshmallow herself who is sitting on her throne, Smith Sleepy. But, Anyways, before heading to the gym, we want to share with you guys something yes. super exciting. Sarah, show them. Pay attention. Attention. Major key alert. Okay, so I spent some time redoing our website last night. Fresh, clean, cute, I think so. So you can check that out at www.armstrongsisters.com. But what I wanted to focus on right now was the Strong Sisters newsletter. New newsletter. So we're going to be sharing free weekly workout templates, nutrition tips, recipes, exclusive white oak pasture discounts, fun stories, everything that's a little inappropriate for YouTube. All the fun stuff is there on this newsletter. So really, really, really wanted... Okay, so we did a poll on Instagram. We usually share all of our workouts on our Instagram story, but those disappear in 24 hours, and that's a big reason that we're gonna be spending more time on YouTube. So, what we're gonna be doing is every single week on Sunday, if you're signed up for the newsletter, you're gonna receive an entire week's worth of workouts. For sets, free. For free, sets, reps, everything, in a, in a template format that you could technically print out or put on your phone. And, it's going to be coordinated with the workout that we are doing that day. So you'll be able to follow along the form and everything if you need help with a certain exercise from our YouTube video posted that day because we're doing daily vlogs now. There we so, go. For the people in the back, Strong Sisters newsletter, there will be a link in the description box of this video. Sign up now so you don't miss out. It starts this Sunday. All right, as a brief summary, our newsletter will have a free weekly PDF of workouts. Yep which will be coordinated with our daily vlogs. Y'all, come join the Strong Sisters lifts, okay? So before we are going to the, before going to the gym, we're gonna go make a batch of bone broth, so I'm heading downstairs into our dingy yellow kitchen. So I like to switch off with different recipe, bone broth recipes. So using beef bones, full poultry bones, because that just gives like a different taste each time. And then also gives like a wider amount of nutrients. So I'll show you guys what I'm making ah, 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 the broth with today. So an overview, we've got these beef soup bones. I've got about five of them. They kind of look like what came out of like a chuck steak. And then I've got four tall marrow bones with the marrow in. And then I've got eight chicken feeties. I pulled out an extra because I'm going to give one to Miss Marshmallow. Marshy, sit. Oh, good girl. Good girl. Yes. Yes, savage. What are you going to do with it, huh? She wants to take it into the carpet room. That's her favorite place, but okay. I'll let you go in there. We'll return to her in a second. So the bone broth is going to get a lot of minerals from the beef bones, and then the extra wiggly jiggly is gonna come from the chicken feeties. And you guys can easily make this yourself. White Oak Pastures sells all of these. It makes it super easy for you. So you can buy like full chicken feet, some pasture raised chicken from White Oak Pastures. Then you can get the beef marrow bones. So I use one of their, one of these packs. So you can just buy these beef marrow bone packs and that's what this is here. And then they also sell these beef soup bones. And I used half of this package from another one. So my first step is I like to roast the beef bones. So I have the oven at 400 and I like to roast the beef bones. It just helps add a little bit of flavor to the broth in my opinion. I like the taste of that like roasted bone. So I've got some silicone mats on each of these guys and I'm gonna roast the bones for about 20 minutes. All the bones are roasting. Let's check on Miss Marshmallow. Munching down on this chicken feedies. 
We like to give them, source them with some bones a few times a week. Munch, 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 munch. This is the queen, Miss Marshmallow. She's quite savage, clearly. to the gym. So fun fact, Sarah is always the chauffeur. So she is always the one. <laughs> I think yeah, she's driven in like eight years. That is driving and that's just how our how we work. But today we have deadlifts, back booty. Yeah. It's a back side lift. Oh and some hamstr hamstrings. Hamstrings. So I very much my hamstrings. Yeah Sarah's focusing on growing her hamstrings. Till I get up, time is barely on our side. I don't wanna waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us, and love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah, no, I don't wanna waste what's left. And on and on we'll go through the wastelands, through the highways, till my shadow. Turns the sun rays and on and on we'll go through the wastelands, through the highways, and on and on we'll go. from the gym, gonna whip up a quick platter number one, one of the best parts of our turning home is the doggo greetings, guys! Nelly! Oh, Nelly, mama, Nelly! Nelly! Oh, gosh, my All right, whipped up a super quick, super simple platta number one today. We just got in from a trip yesterday, so we didn't have too much on hand. So we've got some round steak seared on the cast iron, raw beef suet, raw beef liver, and then a cup of bone broth. So Sarah and I have been trying to include about a cup of bone broth every day or every other day to balance out that methionine to glycine ratio. Yeah, quick note, I did an entire series that we posted on Instagram about methylation and glycine and methionine. So if you want, if you're interested in that, go to our website and then go to the blog. So blog and then you can go to the health topics and then scroll down to find it. So there's an entire post on methylation, eating to nurture methylation, and then methionine itself and in methionine includes glycine. I need to reformat this blog. So it's a little bit more about that if you're interested. But normally if we're like home, but I mentioned yesterday we just got back from a trip. Normally we have our bone, own bone broth, but this is the type of bone broth that we're having today. So it's from White Oak Pastures, just their beef gelatin. So it's made with beef bones. White Oak see Pastures. It. Yeah, so they have pretty simple ingredients. Beef bones, water, onion, carrot, celery, bay leaves, so apple cider vinegar. Normally we wouldn't have any of those yeah. in ours, but those are pretty benign. Yeah, but this is a great one to have on hand in case you don't have time to make broth. But because we're trying to have a cup a day, that's a lot of bone broth. So this is gonna require us to make a lot more frequent, smaller batches of bone broth. So I wanted to share a few tips. So she is the bone broth expert. Yes, I've experimented a lot and 
bone broth itself, if it's not wiggly jiggly when it's cold, so after you put it in the fridge and it gets cold, if it's not wiggly jiggly, that's not a bad thing. It's still gonna have the minerals and nutrients extracted from the bones. If it's wiggly jiggly, that ensures that there's a ton of collagen. And so some people have asked, like, how do you ensure that it's wiggly jiggly? So a few things that we like to do is always include chicken feet. Chicken feet is a great source of collagen connected tissue that's going, and all of that collagen is gonna get extracted into the broth. And then another fun thing to add is chicken heads. So we source ours from White Oak Pastures. I'm not really sure if many other places offer that, but it adds a really unique taste to the bone broth. Yeah, and it's, it's the another, best we've ever had. Yeah, and it's another source of that collagen and it helps with that wiggle jiggle. Yep, and you probably get extra nutrients from it too. Oh yeah, with that like, brain yeah. and the spinal cord going up there. All that jazz. Yeah. Yeah, so that's some tips for making your bone broth. And if you want to, we have that entire video. Yes, I shared, a f I think we have a few videos, but we'll share a link to our bone, how to make bone broth video in the description below. But All right, now for now, this it's time. time to eat. Yo, let's go. Returning to the baby about halfway through. So Cecilia, how are you doing? I messed up guys. This was one of the tips that I forgot to share with you earlier. See all of the juice that is coming out of Cecilia. She was like bubbling earlier, like burping. So a lot of like, this is I think fat that has solidified coming off of it. So I like to live on the edge and kind of fill, fill Cecilia up pretty high. So this was my next other tip to put like a pot on top to like really keep the lid down and I forgot to do that this morning but because we are halfway through I like to add another like half a cup or a cup of water to just get a little bit more of a return on the broth when I open it up tomorrow so again this is going to make Cecilia burp even more but that's okay so we'll cover this bad boy again bada bing bada boom all right, so I had a bitty, bitty, busy rest of an afternoon. So I'm just going to show platter two and then call it a night. So let's see what's on the spread for platter number two. We typically eat two meals a day. So this is our second meal. Cece's mine. So what we got? All right, so we have some seared chuck steak. We eat chuck pretty much every single night. We've got a little bit of round steak raw beef suet chunks of course that's our favorite raw source of fat and then just two over easy eggs all aggressively seasoned with, with redmond. redmond real salt all right it is time to eat and also time for us to just get some work done and wrap up the rest of this day time for me to put, take my blue light daylight daytime blue light blockers on <laughs> get to nighttime blue light blockers and we'll be vlogging every day so we'll check in with you guys tomorrow okay until then behave like an angel